Innocent Smoothies have invited us down to their Fruit Towers to sample their brand new limited edition Marmite and Mango Smoothie. Now, it might sound like a bit of an odd combination, but to celebrate it, we've come up with a recipe that uses exactly those flavours. <laughs> now, mango and marmite, they don't sound like they should go together. Head says no, they shouldn't, but the taste buds will completely disagree. Honestly, really? have a swig of that, and I promise you, the sweetness of the mango, the kind of salty savouriness of the marmite, really works. That's really which good. Which is why we're going to put the two flavours into our own dish, um, which is the mango panna cotta. We're going to use the cream and the mango set with uh, gelatin. Yep. And then we're going to make some awesome marmite twills, so that's for added texture. Lovely. Well. Right. Okay, so, begin with, we'll make our panna cotta. Now, as ever, you're going to take all the fuss out of a panna cotta just by adding double cream into a pan and then our mango puree, equal quantities. Now, mango puree, yep. literally make it yourself by blitzing up some really ripe mangoes, or this stuff's come out of a tin. Okay, oh, so fantastic. most supermarkets now, you'll be able to get a mango pulp or puree, so that's gonna go in there as well. So we'll put that onto our heat and just bring that up to a gentle bubble, and then we get our setting bit. So this is leaf gelatin, and this is what's gonna make the cream set. Um, it's like a, a cream jelly, basically. Okay. Kind of so they are sheets like that, and we just pop those in. If you just submerge three of those into our cold water, they just need about a minute or two to swell up and absorb all that water, just so they'll dissolve a lot easier. Now, so far that's mango in dessert, yes. so that kind of works, but now the bit we're all shouting about, the actual Marmite, and uh, this is a combo. You either love it or you hate it. I love it. You love it. Yep. And sticky, treaty Marmite, that's gonna go into our twill mix. Mm -hmm. One heap tablespoon of plain flour, mm -hmm. two heap tablespoons of icing sugar, 20 grams of a batter knob, so a small knob of butter, just melted. And the bit that makes this great when it comes out the oven and you can actually mould it into shapes is egg white, okay? And then put the whole thing whisk together. And that's a very basic twill mix. You don't have to make quite so much mess if you don't want to. <laughs> the mess is optional. <laughs> now we need a teaspoon, or just less than a teaspoon, of Marmite. That's the sticky stuff, but if you can whisk that in there. Yeah. Now getting the right amount of Marmite is important. Every bottle has seven grams of Marmite. Really? Yeah, they tried it with five, it wasn't enough. 10 was a little bit too much overpowering. So you've got to get that balance right, but our teaspoon should be just perfect. Cool. Meanwhile, our cream is now bubbling. Yep. We can bring it back over here and add our gelatin. So if you scoop out the gelatin from there, just give it a squeeze. It's gone really squeezy, squeezy and squeezy Squeezy and squeezy yeah. So into our hot uh, cream, yep. and then just stir that through. And that will help it set. That's exactly what's going to set. It won't set without it. Um, yep. So you can, use, you can get veggie gels as well, if you want a vegetarian. Uh, of course, because Marmite's vegetarian as well. It is, so works yep. a treat. And then we just portion them up into any sort of moulds you okay. want. You can turn them out later. These are just old yogurt pots, dessert pots. So I'm guessing mango and marmite is like one of those things, peanut butter and jelly. It really shouldn't go together. Chocolate and chilli. Now that is a good combination. Another one, sweet and savoury. It doesn't make sense in your head, but... No. Ant and Deck. Well, no, they've always made sense. Have they? Yeah, we like Ant and Deck. Even when they were these then need to go into the fridge for about four hours to set up completely. Yep. Okay, and of course they can be made way ahead of time if you want. So while we wait for those to set up, we can make our Marmite shards. So you've made the mix, which I is have. looking perfect. You're looking for that kind of consistency where it's still going to drip, yeah. but it holds its shape. Yep. This is going to a silicon mat, or you can use baking paper. Mm -hmm. and just sort of a few of those. If you want to do a few more of those. It's a bit like the Master Chef smear, isn't it? It is. It's very much yeah. just to pull it towards you, try and keep it roughly level the way through. That. A level smear. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. These then go into a hot oven at 180 degrees Celsius for three to four minutes until they go slightly golden around the edges, and then we can show you how to mould them quickly. And now, when they come out of the oven, this is the crucial bit, because yep. you've got just a little bit of time before they cool down to peel them off of our baking thing and shape them. Because the egg white, you can mould them into shapes, Ooh. and then they set up. Okay, so if you want to try one of those? Yeah. It will be warm. You make whatever shapes you like, and they crisp up and pretty really quickly. You need to hold them in the shape so they can If you don't it. have chef asbestos fingers, be careful. So, panna cotta that's set, dunk it in the hot water. That's all it will need for these plastic containers, just a few seconds. Okay. And then, you just ease around the edges, turn it over and give it one shake. The whole thing should fall out, okay? Wow. You can then place it onto your plate. We want a little bit of drizzle of this fantastic combo because that sweet saltiness really does work. Oh, look at so that. So we'll just drizzle a little bit of that on there, like that sticky stuff. Obviously our texture comes from our Marmite crisps as well, 
So we'll put a couple of those in there like so. And there we have it. We have our mango panna cotta with Marmite shards sorted. So the moment of truth, see how good this combo this. really is. Let's do it. Dig in. Barry, you can put the camera down and come and dig in as well. You oh, really? do not want to miss out. Okay, cool. Make sure you get some of that crunch from the tweed as well. Mm. Wow. It's really good. You're a genius. It wasn't me that came up with it. You guys are innocent. Joe, come on. <laughs> come and taste this. <laughs> come on, here we come. That is alright. Mm, it is, isn't it? It works. Good. So, thank you very much to Joe and all of Innocent for inviting us down. We've had a great time and I think it's fair to say Marmite Mango sorted. Works.